Today I started my morning like I start every other morning enjoying some high quality content on YouTube and while watching the video I noticed it had a comment. So I checked out the comment and it was none other than TK Magic Shop, a buddy in a real life stormtrooper, and he asked, could I make a stormtrooper manatee? I told him I was on it and from there I was on it. And I grabbed myself a kombucha that pairs very nicely with drying. This is the perfect tea or rather a manatee. I am ready to go. So armed with my sketch pad, let's start with a little manatee to turn into a stormtrooper. As a boyatee, he always dreamed that he will one day join the Empire, and we are going to make that dream come true. So this is a pretty famous stormtrooper manatee that pretty much existed throughout the entire story of Star Wars. I'll tell you about some of his exploits. Uh, he was actually one of the ones that Obi-Wan Kenobi, when he approached them, said, These are not the fish you're hooking for. And perhaps if you're not familiar with Obi-Wan Kenobi by that name, you might know him by another name where he was living a little bit below surface level, trying to remain low key, and he went by Old Ben, the hermit crab. And of course it was Princess Leia who was looking for him the entire time, so she can get assistance with the classic message, Kelp me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And Kelp is exactly what he did. But back to our stormtrooper, who had some pretty epic underwater battles. Uh, you might know that he faced off against uh, Jar Jar of Jellyfish or the vicious vehicle Mandalorian Boat Catan. And he fought admirably in those battles. He did very well for himself, and he was very loyal to the Empire, so much that he was rewarded for it. As he started to shine, it was actually Shark Vader and Emperor Penguin Palpatine that took note of him. And he was offered a roll upon the Death Starfish, but he was there up until the day it exploded, which luckily, he was not there. Uh, he was on vacation, he was visiting the Coral Grief Karga, and when he came back, he's like, I don't got a place to work anymore. So he went to find Jabba the Halibut and Bib the Tuna to get some temporary work. And he did just that. He joined the gangster, which eventually put him on the, the naughty list. And he was hunted by the Boscopus. But luckily, he did not do any harm. He was able to get things all sorted out. Soon after that, he had a running with another smuggler. It was uh, Han Solotion and his friend Fluke Skywalker. Um, but being that he was a stormtrooper, they did not quite get along too well, so they ended up playing a game of poker and then just each going their separate ways. It is worth noting that when they play poker, they do not play a hand of poker, they play a fin of poker. But if you just want to say they played a game of poker and be more inclusive and universal, it's, it's a more considerate way to do that. And I know what you're thinking, since he was an aquatic stormtrooper, is there a chance that he did meet Admiral Akbar? Well, I'm gonna say absolutely not. I was tempted to add him into the story, but I figured it would be too convenient, almost like, it's a trap! Which it was. And I did it anyway. So then Flash fled forward a few years, and now we have our stormtrooper manatee, and he runs into the, the next crew, and he made friends with another stormtrooper who also went to pursue other things. Everyone knows him. Uh, it was Finn, which what people do not know is that Finn is actually short for Dolphin. And then his friend also came along, uh, Manta Ray. And the two of them went on some adventures together. They, they met Poe, uh, whose middle name is doesn't have a fish reference. And then uh, they, yeah, they just continued their wild journey across the deep blue ocean in the galaxy seas far, far away. And I guess now that I think about it, Poe could have been Roe, like, the eggs. I'm not sure if it works. I'm also not 100% confident the, the reference would stand, so I'm going to stand by my middle name is No Fish Reference. So now after all these years, our Stormtrooper manatee is a little bit aged, a little bit wiser, no longer finds the, the support of the Empire he once did. Now he mostly sits in cantinas and tells stories of old how he actually was there and he witnessed uh, Obi-Wan and Darth Maul fighting uh, with Qui-Gon. And then after the entire story, it, it usually ends with the, the same punchline, uh, Qui-Gon belly up, which is always a, a thin slapper and at the, the cantina. And it's always met with max applause and max rebos. And there we have it, our Storm Manatee, and a special thanks to TK Magic Shop for the inspiration and the recommendation. Enjoy, thanks for watching.